Oh, the first thing. The first thing is that we're going to make thick tikka masala. I don't precisely have a tikka masala. I do though have this chicken tandoori masala from National. So I will just try. I'll have a little of this. So let's try this. Okay, let me play the video along. So it's half tablespoon of chicken tikka masala. So I'm going to take half tablespoon of chicken tikka masala a little more <laughs> that's my personal preference and what else one tablespoon of yogurt I'll add a little bit more what else it says adrak lesson paste ginger garlic paste one teaspoon E not a very keen fan of other colossan in chicken, so let's skip that. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, there we have it. What does it do next? Chicken fillets, and then you're going to marinate for like 15 to 20 minutes. So I have like two oops <laughs> small fillets they had one big and i have two small so i'll just put these in so now they have said to marinate it for 15 to 20 minutes okay so let's marinate for 15 to 20 minutes and meanwhile we'll get on with the chips so the thing about the chips is that i've already cut them Ta -da! yes and i have dried them on a cloth okay the recipe says that you need to parboil them and then fry them and then take them out and then refry them so no i'm not going to do all that and i'm just going to chuck them in into the wok and then we will get these bad boys frying also 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 i have changed a few ingredients i am out of black olives so i'm going to use a green olives instead <laughs> i just had the red bell pepper yes i did have onion so i'm using ta -da, the broccoli and then i'm going to take the corn yeah a lot of changes i know but i love corn my husband loves corn so i'm going to fry this this is frozen so i'm going to fry this and i'm going to fry this before i put them on the pan on the pizza thingy and i think i'm going to fry not fry just water them a bit as well okay so let's get to the potatoes first let's fry these first okay Okay, so the pot oil is pretty much hot and I'm just going to put the chips in. Let these bad boys fry. Okay, now is the turn for chicken. I just put a drop of oil in it, by the way. I don't have a skillet, a heavy base skillet. It's just a non-stick pan. So I am trying to do it on there. Okay, so let's fry it. Okay, so these are fried. Uh, now, as per the recipe, I am going to shred them using two forks. I'm just shred them into pieces, okay? So I need two hands for them. I'm holding my camera in one. So let me just shred it and then I will get back to you. Okay, so manage to shred them. As per the recipe, I'm going to fry them again for I don't know how long. They just said fry it. So let's keep it on the stove and see for how long it fries. Hey guys, so this has fried. As the chicken was frying, I fried these on the side. You see, I'm not frying them too much. Just sauteed a bit. And the onions as well. So they all went in for like two two minutes at high flame literally like one to two minutes and that was it i did not do anything with this by the way okay so what they did in the video was they actually uh, took a skillet and heavy base skillet and put everything they fry the chicken in it and then they put everything in it like the 
the chips and uh, everything they chucked everything in and they put the skillet in the oven now the problem is that I don't have a heavy base base skillet so I'm going to improvise yes that's what I'm good at I took a square pan which I already had I spread the chips in them which are already made and now I'm going to spread the cheese on it I'm not taking mozzarella as the recipe said I'm just gonna use cheddar cheese because that's what I already had okay so now some ketchup and then we're going to go in with more cheese yes it's a cheesy thing uh, the recipe said to just put the chicken in the center, but I am going to spread it all the way through Now some more cheese on top of the chicken It's turning out to be such oozy thing And now let's go in with the vegetables. So here is the corn and After the corn I'm going to add in the broccoli and then the onion the bell peppers now i'm going to put in more cheese because olives is the last thing i so wish that i had black olives uh, because they would have shown more better but well green olives tasted really nice though so yeah that's good okay and there we have it so now i'm going to just place it in the oven um, under the grill okay guys so this is out pretty hot i'll just zoom in to let you guys see how good it looks so do you guys see how nice this looks yum 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 mm. okay come on oh it's cheesy oozy and good yes mmm mmm very very nice uh, so yeah this is really good guys i am a fan it's a really good recipe <sighs> okay guys so this is my version of the potato pizza i do like it it's very tasty very yummy and i'm definitely going to try it again with just the ingredients that they used i have done some variations as i have used corn in it i've not used mozzarella i've used cheddar so it still tastes amazing i'm like i'm really 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 happy and yeah do try this at home it's really nice and as i would say it is a complete success it's not a fail it's complete success all of this recipe and yeah so okay guys so if you like this recipe please do give me a thumbs up please do comment below and please do share this recipe if you want to and please do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching lovelies love you bye